Hello, this is Brian Shannon from Alpha Trends Blogspot. It's Monday evening, September 24th, 2007. We're going to go ahead and take a look at some stocks for trading on Tuesday. I've got shares of Audible Inc. on the screen, symbol ADBL. You can see the stock had a nice day today. And um, looking at this uh, daily time frame, let's just get this trend tool up. You can see that it's just recently broken past some resistance near this $12 level that did act as support. So looks like it's uh, a successful test and probably ought to continue higher. If we look at the weekly time frame, even more impressively, we can see the importance of that level uh, at the $12 area. And it looks like it ought to be able to make it up towards at least $14.5 a share before it really finds any resistance here. Probably continues higher, but that's what will uh, make an initial target up near about $14.5 a share. The way to purchase this stock, I think, uh, you can see that late in the day it had a little bit of a pullback. I think it could pull back a little bit further down to about $12.90. And then you want to buy it above about $13.05. Set your stop down about $12.60. And I think that stock could be on its way towards about 14 and a half, like I said. Alexion Pharmaceuticals, symbol ALXN. You can see this stock's making what looks like maybe a cup and handle up in here or you could say an ascending triangle. What it's showing though is that this resistance just above 65, 65 and a half is continually getting pounded away and that makes it more likely that the stock will continue uh, in this primary uptrend. So looking at a weekly time frame, you can see that it's multiple year highs and on the monthly time frame, uh, the stock hasn't seen these levels since uh, 2000. So the stock looks good. It ought to continue higher. Looks like it needs to clear resistance at 66. The way I'd like to purchase this stock, though, I think you could purchase it maybe on a pullback towards 65 or actually let it pull back to 65 and then get some strength. Uh, worst case stop, I think, is probably down near this five-day moving average, near about $64.20. Uh, if you want to be a little bit more aggressive than that, maybe you give it to about $64.60. But once this thing does get going, um, I think you, you have a very reasonable chance of it going at least about 3 or $4 up towards about $69 a share. So that would be a pretty favorable risk-reward ratio. Beacon Power, symbol BCON. This stock's got a big short position in it. You can see it's... Uh, I uh, got this level right here at about $2.30 that maybe it's going to go test these uh, highs from 2005, 2006. But these little stocks have a way of really getting going once they do get going. Uh, the daily time frame is set up very nicely. We've got a rising 10, 20, and 50-day moving average. You can see the big volumes coming in on the upside, followed by low volume consolidations in here. So I think the stock ought to continue to move. You see it gapped up today. Held on to most of those gains. I think maybe getting back above a buck ninety-one or so is where you want to purchase this stock. Worst case stop down here at about a dollar seventy-eight or so, and I think that uh, you're looking for at least a test of this high here at about two dollars and forty cents. Um, some of the Chinese stocks have been going just crazy. Look at CHNR today. This thing went went bananas, as did CWLT. CWLT. Keep an eye on the CLWT. I own some of that, but keep keep an eye on this one. It looks like it could get really going here. But CBAK, speculative stock, uh, it's called China uh, Back Battery. You can see that uh, it might have some room to get going in here. It traded big volume today compared to what it normally does. You can see the average daily volume is about 271,000. Did triple that today. Just keep your eye on this one. I'm not going to really recommend it, but I would say breaking back below $4.40, forget about the stock. But if it can exceed today's highs near 4.65 or so, this thing could get going crazy to the upside. A lot of the Chinese stocks have. So, I mean, look at this. Here's another one. Look at this CPSL. This thing was insane. Um, so keep your eyes on these little Chinese companies. They're going really good. Falcon Store Software, FALC. Um, this stock just broke out past some resistance. It's whole on, on big volume. The volume's diminishing here. I didn't draw that trend line too well, but uh, the volume's diminishing as the stock consolidates those gains. So there's not evidence of anyone coming in to, to rush in and sell their, their, their shares uh, from the long side. We've got a rising 10, 20, 50, and 200-day moving average. Looking at the weekly time frame, you can see it's at multiple year highs. And on the monthly time frame, it's at all-time highs. So this stock looks like it ought to continue to uh, move higher. I don't know, maybe above 1225, 1230, or maybe you purchase it somewhere in here. I'm not going to give anything specific to, to uh, as far as a recommendation goes, but keep your eye on that one. As far as stocks that look vulnerable, I think this uh, 
uh, Chicago Mercantile Exchange. You take a look at this move from this high to this low. It just bounced up two-thirds of the way, 61.8% retracement. It gapped down right over in here about three weeks ago. has been unable to recover, even with the Fed. Um, this is, here's the VWAP over the last 15 days. It keeps finding resistance up near that level. This is a tough stock to trade. I think that, uh, you know, probably breaking below 535 ought to get this thing going, I think, to the downside. It's been a tough stock for the shorts, but you can see that it's done nothing basically all year. It's up about $11 for the year. If you take a look at the average price the stocks trade at this year, it's uh, up here at about uh, $5.53 a share. I've got a couple out of the money puts, um, and hopefully this thing can just get cro uh, croaked here. But it looks like, uh, you know, we've got a declining 50-day moving average, and it uh, looks like it ought to continue lower to me. So does Avid Technology, AVID. You can see it broke to multi-year lows um, just recently over here, um, and it's, it's broken down on the daily time frame. It's rallied back up on diminishing volume. Now we see the sellers are back in control, looking at a 30-minute time frame. You can see we had some support there that's broken. It's back below that five-day moving average. The five-day moving average is flattened out. I think uh, breaking below these lows here at about 27.10, that the stock ought to continue lower. Worst case stop probably goes up about $27.90. And finally on the short side, it looks like GROW uh, broke down. It rallied up to test that prior level of support. Price has memory. There's a lot of sellers there, it appears. That's where your risk is at about $20.50 a share or about a dollar away. We've got a declining 10, 20, and 50-day moving average. The weekly time frame, it looks like this stock has had a big run, and now maybe the sellers are really going to gain control. Maybe it drops down towards 17 and a half. That would be a nice target initially, but uh, probably breaking below this level here at about $19.35 is what uh, gets the downside pressure rolling, and then maybe a stop just above uh, even $20 a share.